Well, hello everyone. This is Elizabeth from Love From Lizzie with my January 2017 10 cards, one kit video. I'm just going to jump straight in here with the first card. Um, as I did with all of the uh, cards this month, I split the paper widthways to make 10 card blanks. And here I've just made the first one by folding it in half and running my finger. And then I used the bone folder off screen. But um, I was having a look at some pattern papers and decided to use one of the doilies. And this is the Nouveau glue pen. I apologise for how fast um, this video is. I, as always, there was so much footage. And to stop it from being a four hour long video, I just sped it up quite a bit. So anyway, I've just used my Nouveau glue pen to um, stick down the doily at an angle on the side of the um, tag. And here I'm running a peel off up the edge. But um, I don't pull the peel off the whole way off the backing sheet because they're... These ones aren't quite so easy to get back on the sheet. Um, and then I'm using some of the sentiments saying my love just on the tag. I trim a very narrow strip of um, the foil and then three inches, if that makes any odds to you guys, um, of one of the pattern papers so that there is a sort of like a white border just for a bit of interest. Um, I run the glue down the edge and then I stick that little strip of the linen copper and trim off either side from the back. And then for the tag, I just mount it up using some foam tape. I will be so pleased to see the back of this foam tape. It's dreadful. But I took, put two lines at the bottom and then I put glue at the top of the tag so that the bottom stands proud a little bit. And then I hold the string how I like it and just pop a little dab so that the string can still move. And here's card two. Um, I die cut using a stitched circle die from Mama Elephant um, and I also used a scallop frame die, that one's from Gina K, um, on the doily. And now I'm covering the front of the card base because then that way I'm not going to have excess glue on the back of the paper so I can use it for another project if I want. Line it all up and cut with scissors. I do like using double-sided sellotape to stick, but glue does afford you that little extra room for error <laughs> if you need to make one. Okay, so now I'm just working out where it is that I want to put my um, die, and I'm using the lines on my grid mat to make sure that I'm centred. And then using the frame of the doily with some glue pen, I just stick that around the circle. This is the joy of using the same die on both the card front and the doily. And now I'm looking at the sentiment that I wanted to put in and this was the frame that um, was happily cut when I cut the circle from the front of the card. So um, I've actually, I closed the front of the card down to stick that back in so it is perfectly aligned and then open the card up to pop in um, the centre sentiment, but I popped that on foam tape to make it stand a little proud. And whilst these two dies are completely different sets and completely different brands, they work really nicely together. I'm really pleased with how this came out. And then as with um, all of the little tags, they have sort of like a little hole um, that would need to be punched or cut, but obviously I didn't want to put any string or anything on this one. So I just used one of the little pearl hearts to cover it over. And then I used three of the dinky hearts at the bottom in the corner, just, just because you can. <laughs> so that's card number two, all done. Okay, card number three, this is um, involving the Inka Dinka Do Stamp -a Majig. And you could quite easily make one of these yourself. Whilst this tool is great, if you don't have one, um, you could use a piece of acetate and um, a T-square ruler or... Something, but all you do is you stamp onto the acetate and then um, you use the acetate to line up over the top, if that makes sense. I hope it does. But this is me doing it on some scratch paper to make sure that I was comfortable with what I was doing before I did it on my card front. So again, I've just got um, half of my A4 and then I've just, just stamped this little guy on there. And I already had obviously lined this up on the stamp -a jig So um, I line... Get up with the acetate, then slide the block back into place 
and stamp down. Now, I wasn't sure if I'd had a good impression, so I did put the stamp of magic back before I took the acrylic block away. Um, so that if it wasn't a good impression, I could reline the acrylic block back in. But using this, it's, it is not 100% perfect, um, but that's me rather than the tool. <laughs> and then I heat set um, this up and then I got a piece of watercolour cardstock. Um, I'll list all of my additional products in my blog. And I wanted to stamp this in the Misty because um, watercolour paper is a bit textured, so sometimes you don't always get a great impression. I did remove the black backing foam for anyone that wants to do the same. Um, and then I fussy cut out both the frame and the owl. Um, and then also with a craft knife, I um, cut out the centres. I hope you're all really enjoying your Christmas Eve whilst I'm showing you all how I fussy cut. I, um, I'm sitting here currently with a glass of Prosecco and it is... 20 to 12 which is really naughty but the baby's out for a Christmas walk with his all me and his aunties and cousin while I do this like voiceover <laughs> so I'm making the most right um, and now using some distress markers um, I use three in total um, I just lay some colour down there is nothing special with what I'm doing here I am simply putting a bit of colour in the middle and then using my um, clear wink of Stella to move the colour around within the flowers and I used peeled paint, fossilised amber, um, and I also use a brown one. But I'm just doing the owl's face. I only wanted to use three colours because I was going to keep this completely um, monochromatic, but um, decided against it as wanted to um, have a little bit of colour for the flowers. I'll list the brown one at the end, sorry. Okay, and then I stamped the sentiment um, using the pigment ink and heat set that and then trim it down into um, quite a narrow strip. And I do apologise because some of this um, is off screen a little bit. My, my lovely little man decided to whack a toy across the room and it took my tripod out and I can't seem to get my camera straight and I didn't realise, so I apologise. But I cut a fishtail in the end of that banner and um, inked up the edges of the banner and I do actually go back in and put ink all over the whole thing. There we go. <laughs> um, just to take the starkness out of it. And then I stick that directly onto the back of um, the ring and I also um, put some foam squares up just uh, around the frame. And now I'm making sort of a messy nest, which was the purpose behind putting this copper in. And then using the foam squares, I attach the messy nest onto the back of the owl. There's no real art to this, it's just a case of screw it all up in your fingers, push it down and try and stick the foam squares down before all the thread comes back up again really. I've also, if you can see, inked along the edges of the card front with my blending tool and that's it. Okay, next card, again I'm putting glue on the card base rather than on the card front and this was a brand new glue pen, this big one, so I'm having to encourage the glue to come out, there we go. Once it starts to flow you know, you can see it. And then I lay that down, as I say, this way there's no glue left over on the pattern paper, so if I go to use it on another project, I can use that reverse side if I want to. There's no stickiness left over. And always trimming from the back using the card front as the guide. Okay, now this one, um, I had an idea in mind actually. Oh, there's my head, sorry about that. <laughs> um, um, which is quite unusual for me. So um, I wrapped, I wanted to wrap the card to look like a present. I did, however, have to um, make an amendment halfway through, but I thought I'd leave it in here to show you that not all cards come as easy as they look in the videos. But I've put some double-sided tape um, on the ends of either of the ribbons. And here I'm just making sure they're straight and that I've got the lace side of the ribbon pointing up. I take the backing off the tape 
and fold it in. And it doesn't matter because this is going to be hidden anyway, but by the bow. Um, but I knew that I wanted to put like a gift tag on, as you would on a gift. So I fussy cut one out in a similar colour to the backing paper that I'd chosen. And I, when I say fussy cut, I actually cut directly along the edges. I didn't leave a, a small border, as often people do. And um, I used my craft knife just to cut out the little hole in the middle. Um, this craft knife that I have is fantastic. It's a Fiskars, and you put your finger through it and push down with your fingertip rather than holding it like a pen. Um, and now, using the um, linen foil, I use a bow bunny tag um, that's slightly larger than the sentiment tag just to sort of hang behind it. And this is where I realised that the crossover on my ribbons is too low so I just gently unpeel the um, sellotape extend that cut a little higher which if I'm honest doesn't look great from the inside but it's a handmade card you know it's got character it's, it's got a story behind it and then I just shift um, that centre belt up a little bit and re-stick it down and nobody would know so I used some of the twine uh, to lace the two tags on and then some double-sided sticky tape just to fold those pieces of twine in. And now this way I've got a nice little extra bit there. And I, I trim that down, use some multi-medium in the matte finish to stick the bow over the top. And then some double-sided tape to stick one the top tag to the bottom. And a couple of the small foam squares to hold uh, the tags up either side of the ribbon. And that's the card. Okay, the next one, I'm using my Nuvo Drops that were part of the kit and all three of the little wooden hearts. Um, and I just cover these in the Nuvo Drops. Now, um, I'm going to be honest, there was some cracking with the Nuvo Drops. I don't know if the wood absorbed some of the moisture or... But all I did was I put a couple of layers of the Nuvo Drops anyway so that they have a really nice rounded shape. And then I just filled the little cracks in with the Nuvo Drops and you wouldn't know, so... Anyway, back to the card. Here I've made, um, I've just covered a card base completely again with a piece of the patterned paper that's quite neutral. And now I'm cutting a portion of the hessian and I'm pulling a couple of each of the threads from each side so that there's a nice little frayed border around it. And then using one of the hearts as sort of a guide, I cut um, what will be another layer from the vellum. Um, and for this, I use my paper trimmer. Oh, that's a lie. I do apologise. I use my craft knife. Um, and my T-square ruler. Uh, it's, it's, you need to cut vellum perfect, at, in my opinion. And I don't like cutting uh, with a big trimmer for a small piece like this because the end piece gets wasted and I'm too careful with my products to waste any. So that's me being mean. Okay, uh, and now I'm using my Nuvo glue pen, just sort of dabbing it along the edges. And this was really difficult because usually I like to have things quite precise and neat and tidy. And But for this, I wanted it to be a bit messy. And so I did that. And I, I let that dry for a minute before I came back. Of course, the video doesn't show that, but I did let it dry for a minute. And then I just started, I just got a little bit of the foil and just started to lay it along the edges. Now, I know I am no expert in this. This was, in fact, the first time I'd ever tried to do foiling. So if I'm doing it wrong or if you know of a better way, please let me know. But it seemed to work fine and I got the effect that I wanted. So if you need, uh, if you want to use this as a tutorial, then you carry on. But I, quite simply, when the glue had gone tacky, it wasn't blue anymore, as is with the Nuvo, I just laid the foil on top of where all the glue was and then I used my finger to rub off the, like, the majority. And then this is a very soft br paintbrush that I just sort of go along the edges and use to almost like scratch it off. But because the bristles are soft, it uh, is quite gentle. Um... And I am so super pleased with how this turned out. Considering this was a first effort, I wasn't sure if it was going to work or not. And then I just tipped the rest of it back into the little bag. 
I used some multi-medium and the matte finish to glue the burlap down because um, I would guess that's actually quite a difficult thing to stick. Um, and then I once my little hearts had all dried, this wasn't a quick card by the way, there was a lot of waiting for drying and such, um, I popped some multi-medium on the mat again. I started with the one in the middle because it's easier to space that way. And then I popped some multi-medium mat on the back of the vellum behind the hearts. And then three little pearls in the nouveau at the bottom corner. And that's that card done. And now again, the next one, I am covering the card front with glue. And putting that, it's like a honeycomb sort of hexagon pattern. Smoothing that down. And then, as always, from the back trimming to make sure that um, there's a nice finish to the front. And this, I didn't mean for it to look come out this way, but it did. Reminds me of um, this little hat I used to have in my bedroom as a little girl. Um, but yeah, so I cut um, a circle of the wood grained uh, material patterned paper. And then I cut the smaller circle from the same set. It's the Mama Elephant uh, So Fancy, I believe. Um, stitch circles from the heart doily. And then I've made a little bow from the ribbon. And then using the Nouveau glue pen, dabbing some glue on that doily. It's not perfect. It's not completely covered, but over the majority of it. And as you can see at the bottom there, the doily starts to go into a different pattern. So that's why I wanted to put the glue there. And I used multi-medium and a matte finish to hold that on. And then I'm using the twine to um, create, tassel isn't the right word, but it's almost like tails. And it was at this point that it reminded me of this, it's like a little hat thing, like a little bonnet, an old fashioned English bonnet. <laughs> um, that I'm sure I used to have hanging on my room as wall as a child. Um, but yes, yeah, so I used some double sided tape to tack that on so that the tassel would hang down and then some foam tape either side so that it would lay flat nicely rather than if you put foam over the um, twine as well. And now here I was umming and ahhing about how to do a sentiment and I, in, in the meantime I decided to um, pop a bit of the ink along the edge this pigment ink is lovely for that. Um, it's n it won't blend as such um, on the patterned paper like um, the dye inks do, um, but it does give a lovely finish because um, it will cover over the colour of the patterned paper being a pigment ink. And then I use one of the stamps from the stamp set, which is With Love in the bottom corner, and that's that card done. Okay, next one. Once again, covering the whole card front. I use a lot of the pattern paper in this video. I think in my last videos, I've been quite careful with my product because I wanted to show that you don't actually have to use a lot to um, make the cards. These kits will go such a long way if you push them. But this video, I just sort of was like, you know what, hang it. I want to make some really pretty cards and I want to use all my products. <laughs> so anyway, sorry, I'm blithering on. Um, I've used... Um, I'm now using my trimmer to cut some of the patterned foil paper and I'm doing this ever so carefully because it can snag and please, you know, take my heed my warning on that because as you can see there, I'm having to sort of fold it back down again. But I use one of the Simon Says Stamp uh, Scallop Wavy Borders to cut the card front and then I'm just gluing on the inside a piece of that foil so that where the scallop um, ends, there's the foil behind. So just just a little something different on the front. And then um, I cut fussy cut out the tag and I cut that right along the edge. And now this, I have turned over the linen foil and I've traced around the tag. And what I do is I fussy cut this out, leaving a small white border so that that tag is very slightly larger than the patterned one. Um, and then I use my craft knife to cut the holes from both tags. And now I've picked some sentiments and I started with the middle row just so that I could get the spacing right. I knew that I wanted to have the um, sentiment towards the bottom of the tag because of how I was going to attach the tag. But 
all will be revealed. Now this is why I love peel off stickers. Um, I've got this lovely scallop edge and I can manipulate the peel off to run along it and there's no bubbling, there's no, because they do stretch slightly, you can manipulate them well, which is great. And now here, I'm getting my tassel and I poke it through the hole and then I poke the tassel through the loop. It's not very elegant to watch because it didn't want to all go through very easily, but once it's through, it's, uh, it worked well. And because I'd left the sentiment down a little bit on the tag, you didn't, it, you know, none of it was lost. And then I just quite simply taped the back one on uh, and pictures will be at the end. Sorry, my camera died, as is unfortunately with every video, it seems. And now I am cutting one of the heart dies from one of the tags and I'm laying the pieces that have been cut in the kind of the order that they came from the tag so that I knew which was which. And then I've cut the same amount from the linen copper cardstock. Then I use the other tag, put double sided tape all over it and stick the two tags together. And then I'm using the little copper hearts frames, filling in all the holes and then popping all of the negative space back in the middle, which was why I kept them organized, if that makes sense. Um, so that I knew which one went in which heart. And usually I would trim the edges of those hearts off, but I actually quite liked how they looked. So I'm just popping some foam tape on the back of that tag. I trimmed off a little piece from the right hand edge of the front of the card and then um, spelled out in love with you forever and always. And the good thing about peel off stickers is as long as you don't push them down uh, and you're using something like a craft knife to collect that, pick them up and put them down, you can move them around quite a bit. So I laid them down to see how many I'd have and then I moved them and then I pushed them down. And now, and now they're good and stuck, so that's fine. Um, and then I used, this isn't in the kit. Everything else had pretty much been in the kit, I'm afraid. But these aren't. These are the uh, copper pinstripe peel-offs. I just wanted to run something along the edge. Um, and again, I'll show you a picture of that one at the end. Okay, and this is another one of the um, dies from the Mama Elephant So Fancy set. I do try to keep to minimal extra supplies. Um... Uh, and now I'm fussy cutting out the heart tag and now this is um, I'm just framing the edge of the heart tag with the Nouveau drops uh, and there was a tiny air bubble there so I just popped it with my fingernail it doesn't take any you know, there's no great skill to this and whilst this looks like I'm going really fast I'm not and the best thing I can recommend to you is keep your wrist on the table and hold your hand steady and drag your arm rather than move your hand that's how I find it easiest. And then I just went back in and added if there was a certain area that had less or, you know, more. And then I put some little dots randomly so that I could cover over the hole that should have, you know, that you punch in the tag. And now here, I'm using that die cut piece and I've got them a little bit left over from the twine. And I'm just folding it over to the back and using some tape, um, sticking it down towards the top because I want to make a kind of like a washing line um, and I play around and then I realized that that was a little bit low so I pulled it in a bit further and that's perfect that's exactly as I want it and now I'm just cutting a couple of strips of the burlap and um, yeah this isn't like card you can't get away with not cutting it properly and tearing the last bit you actually have to cut it I've <laughs> It's getting all my bad habits of showing in this video. Okay, and now I'll cut a fishtail in the bottom of each of um, the two banners. And I, I cut one and then use that one as a measure for the other so that they are similar-ish. They're not going to be perfect because they're not cut with a trimmer, you know, it's material and it frays. But I am... Um, and then I use a peg on each of the little... Um, banners and put either side and then some foam tape on the back just to give it some um, lift on the card front and then measure that up stick it down and this is again a waiting game for me now because uh, my heart isn't dried so I used my grid mat to put three large dots and then four small dots now on that bottom one I let it drag so straight away I just go in with my knife and just scrape 
And thankfully, it all came up and you wouldn't know unless I told you. So just pretend I didn't tell you. Um, and then, yeah, so I'd repeat the same on the other side. Um, and then some time passes. <laughs> it's like, here's one I made earlier. And now I'm in the position that I can peg um, the heart on. And then I use some clear wink of Stella across the whole of the front of the card. I could have done this before I pegged it, but that would have taken foresight. So now I have a lovely sparkly heart um, on a washing line, which is what everybody needs. So, <laughs> and here's the next card, which um, this paper is so pretty. It is, um, it's like glossed, but it's like a lovely peach. I'm a big fan of this one. I'm so pleased I used it. Because usually when I get a favourite, I don't like to use it. Um, and as always, I'm just turning it over, trimming off the excess, having put the glue only on the card front. And now I'm using a bigger tag die from the Bow Bunny set. I'm using three different hearts, just cutting those three out. And now I'm putting glue all over um, one of the, the large frame that comes from the largest die, letting that dry off a little bit. And whilst I'm letting that dry, um, I just snip out some vellum, slightly smaller than my tag, double check to make sure everything fits nicely and then put a load of glue on the back of the tag because I'm going to make a shaker card. I haven't made a shaker card for quite a while now. so And vellum is lovely because shaker cards are beautiful but they can sometimes take away from everything else in the card. So a bit of vellum sort of neutralises it a little bit. But anyway, here again, I'm just showing that um, the foiling isn't you know, just for edges. So I wanted to completely foil up this little heart. So I used some flakes um, and then use my finger to sort of softly burnish it in. It, uh, As far as I'm concerned, there is no great skill in uh, doing this foiling. It can be a bit messy, but as long as you don't pull the whole bag open, you know, it's manageable. Then I popped some glue on the back side of the heart and then just slotted that back into place. And then I used my foam tape and I cut it in half so that they were narrow strips and then backed it up so it's double thickness and then worked my way all around the edge. And I wanted to show this one because this heart was quite close to the edge and rather than faffing around trying to make a really thin strip, I just cut a C out of the side. And then used some Moon Dust um, Love From Lizzie Sparkle and Shine, popped it on the card front because I wanted to make sure that I had the tag straight rather than putting the shaker elements in the tag and then laying the card front on top, if that makes sense. And then, I mean, this is a Lawn Fawn Love Die, a mute that I've cut from this cardstock, and I just wanted the U from the sentiment, so you can cut these apart, but with red rubber, it can get a bit messy. So I just used some washi tape, took the washi tape off, and don't forget to take the washi tape off, and then using the um, ink from the kit, I just popped U in the bottom corner and then spotted some glue all over the back of the love sentiment and placed that over the tag as well. And this is me tidying up a little bit, which isn't something that happens often, right? And so that's that card. And these are all the products that I used and tools uh, beyond the actual kit. So yeah, there's it's quite a few bits and pieces and the Misty, I suppose, is a bit specialist, um, but and most of the other things I do try to keep to generic tools. Um, so hopefully they're not things that are going to be too far beyond what you have. And this is what's left over, and I have tons. Considering I wasn't trying to be frugal this month and I was actually going for it, I have actually got so much left. I didn't even use the craft hearts. I've still got tons of doilies, ribbons, tassels, the peel-offs. There's so many. And, okay, here are all the made cards. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, there is still, I believe, just over 10% left of these kits in the store. Um, I'm guessing, though, if last month's anything to go by, this video will... Uh, push it over the edge so if you want one I'd get in there as soon as you can um, I hope you are all having a very Merry Christmas uh, the Love From Lizzie store uh, is continuing to take orders but um, we're closed 
until the 3rd of January. So nothing will be shipped until the 3rd of January and replies to emails will start again from then. Um, ship, the kits will start shipping from the 1st of January. And um, please uh, enjoy and tag me in all of your makes. Anyway, thanks very much. Take care and happy paper crafting. Bye.